What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and finally, it has been announced the start date or release date of Pokemon Masters, the new Pokemon gotcha game, and it is coming out August 29th. So as of today, that is like five days away. It's coming out Thursday. And this game is, I'm super hyped about this game. I think it's a lot of fun, and I encourage everyone to at least try it out. Um, so I want to talk about basically what my recommendations are. So or if you're not familiar with the gacha game, we'll go over that real quick, but then what my recommendations would be for, oh, do I, should I spend money on this game? And I'm going to err on the side of like, no, I don't think you should, but if you do, here's some couple things to keep in mind. So before we get into that, let's take a look at the announcement. So I found this on Reddit, a uh, post by Bulby David. Uh, basically, he just uh, posted the Twitter and I'm assuming someone will translate it, but uh, I guess they so it's on the release is August 29th official release on iOS and Android. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, let's just see if there's any comments official release. Prayers for 32 bit. I don't really know the implications. Must be just like certain phones can't use 32 bit and they're uh, primarily on 64. Uh, here we go. Translation August Thursday, August 29th, released both on iOS and Android. Nice. To kind of introduce one content, blah, blah. All right, not much there, but um, so it's finally coming, and I really enjoyed playing this game. And I've done a video about, and I'll link it down below, where kind of like my thoughts about, you know, that this is a gotcha game. And let's just go over a couple of basic things about gotcha games. They, the content comes out over time. There may not be a lot of content to do on day one. However, every week or every couple weeks, they'll add more stuff to do. They'll have a lot of different events and new banners. So, you know, what, what you start with, or rather what is available, what you can possibly get day one will change very quickly. And not only that, but things will constantly be getting stronger Probably the trainers that you face will constantly be getting stronger as well, and that's called like power creep. Uh, if you're familiar with TCG, simpler thing is like, oh, look at a GX today and look at like base set cards. They're you know worlds and worlds apart, and that's just a good example of power creep. And the gotcha game will be will follow that ex same exact thing. Um, so, and then another thing is. Uh, we'll start using a lot of terms like free to play, pay to win. If you see like F2P, that's free to play. Um, and this game, in my opinion, is super free to play, especially in the beginning. In fact, like I feel like they, you can be free to play much longer than I feel like other gotcha games that I have played in the past. Uh, you can go through all the content. Actually, let's just go through my team. And I actually haven't been playing that much, but uh, the Lycanroc Rock is uh, someone that I did acquire. So let's see. Um, you know, I think Infernape is a pretty good one. And so like this team is can clear all the content. And essentially, I didn't. You know, they're all free. You acquire them as you go through the campaign. So you know, uh, and I think that this team could probably go on for quite some time. Obviously, I'm not sure, but. Uh, you know, there there will probably always be like if you if you don't if you never spend a dollar on this game, there will probably just be like let's say an event comes out, it's like oh well I couldn't beat the last level or something like that. So then what is the what is the difference? What is the impact of that? Almost nothing. Like maybe there will be some or you know I guess for Pokemon there's not really like a lot of items, no equipments or anything. Uh, or I guess there is gear, which hasn't been released yet, but let's just assume that there's a piece of gear that you cannot get because you don't have the top tier Pokemon sync pair and it's just impossible for you to beat it. Like, okay, yeah, maybe you're at a slight, not disadvantage, but you're slightly behind going forward, but then, you know, that gear, in my opinion, will be obsolete in like a month or two. Um, so, you know, being like one step behind, only completing 95% of the content because you're going free to play, is completely fine in fact like and I honestly don't most of the time it's not really worth it the money it would cost to get that one or two piece of gear uh, next let's go to the like all right how much does it cost to actually uh, do stuff so the unit of currency is the, these gems on the top right and so to do a summon or a Scout, scouts are very strange for it. It costs 300, or you can do 10 of them for 3,000. It's interesting, like, they, they don't really, as far as I could tell, there's no difference. Like, as far as if you do 10, it just seems like it's saved time. Um, and there's no, like, ticket system. So most games, you can, you can, 
do the summon via the currency or you can just get the like these the, like a little coupons like oh this is good for like one summon no such thing yet however there is a daily discount if you purchase gems so it's 3000 for a 10 summon and then 100 for the purchase gems that you can do once per day and actually that that's going to be relevant we'll get to that in a second uh, actually let's just hit the the pull rates because they do uh, publish that and that's always good when the gacha games do that so let's go to the rates um, so 7% for a 5 star, that is quite good, and like, alright, what's the difference between 3, 4, 5 star, so the 5 star is a little bit better, uh, over time you'll be able to raise potential of your 3 and 4 stars to get them closer, most likely that when you raise potential, it will always be maybe a little bit weaker than a 5 star, but close, um, and so it is 7%, that's actually pretty high in my opinion. All right, let's go to how much does stuff cost? And I believe they changed this recently. Um, and we will find it here. I believe it's already taken into effect. Let's just type in gem. Data prices. After update 64. Okay, what is this one currently? I keep going the wrong page. Purchase gems. Uh, 5264. All right, so right now uh, it's for $45 US, you can get 52 and that will eventually be changed to 64. It's very interesting. I think um, it, that means that the most expensive one isn't the best rate, which is very confusing to me. But anyway, let's just assume you get 6,400 gems for about $45. Um, and what can that get you? So that could do only two. 10 summons and then you have some left over or if you just do one summon a day you can you know it'll last you like two months but there's a couple things about that and that is that usually gacha games they do things in like waves like oh well these uh five new things came out these new sync pairs came out and for the next week this banner is available if you summon off this banner it is like more likely to get the new people versus the older ones uh, and so like that's where the kind of like that not or the advantage of doing like those 10 pulls versus like the cheaper daily ones is that there might be a period of time which you're more likely to get the the newest unit than which most likely is the most more powerful ones with the idea of power creep um, so that's just something to keep in mind but like at the end of the day like all right $45 and you got two 10 pulls that is super expensive almost like $20 just to, to pull 10 of this digital character that you might not even get something that you want um, That is very expensive. So in general like I do and especially when you can go free to play and most likely for a good while um, Conquering like 90 plus percent of the content. There's no reason to really buy gems um, However, if you do want to like uh, the last thing is that usually they have like, oh, we just launched this game. Here is the starter bundle. Uh, usually, basically, they give you a good amount of stuff for a reduced price as a way to introduce you to the game. And like, I kind of like don't think it's necessary to buy anything at all. But if you will do want to, um, go look for that those welcome packages. It's unclear. There's no, you know. Nothing in the game suggests that they'll have it, but I feel like that's kind of like a staple thing that all gacha games do is some have some kind of bundle that's a little bit cheaper. And it's kind of like, you know, during Christmas, during New Year's, they'll have like these little bundle things. Uh, so sometimes those, those are worth it, but in general, like I don't think it's necessary for this game. Uh, but I do recommend that everyone try it come Thursday, download it. And uh, oh, actually one last thing is that they do a Daily, let's see if we can find it. Uh, so essentially when you log in every single day, they give you a item or something. Sometimes it's gems, sometimes it's 100 gems, pretty good. Uh, or it's just like a book or something like that. Make sure you just log in every day. Even if you're not gonna play it seriously, if you want to keep up with the game, just log in daily to gather that stuff, maybe complete the quest. The other quest takes no time. In fact, like the Video is linked down below. But the biggest point I want to get across is that this is a gotcha game. There's not a lot of content, and don't speed through it. Really enjoy it. Think back to when the first time you played a Pokemon game on like your Game Boy or something. You know, there's no need to rush the content. Just explore, try out different Pokemon. It's like, oh well, I just got this new Sync pair. Excuse me. 
and I want to try them out, level them up a little bit, and then after a while, like, oh, I'm going back to my, my main. Um, you know, have fun with it. It is a game at the end of the day. There's no, there's no PvP. There's no reason to really race uh, with other people. In fact, because like if you go for a race and you think it's a sprint, you'll be done very quickly because there's not that much content to begin with. So, um, hope this helps anyone that's unfamiliar with gotcha games or just getting into this uh, Pokemon Masters or wasn't familiar with it, but the game does come out Thursday and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely recommend you download it and give it a try. So um, that's it for today. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.